Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, and today I want to talk about Bayonetta 3. Finally, we got a brand new trailer. This is one of those games, there's kind of two games that every single time there's a Nintendo Direct, everyone's like, any news on Bayonetta 3 or Silk Song? Maybe also Metroid Prime, but that's besides the point. Silk Song, unfortunately, we still haven't learned anything more about, but we did get a new trailer for Bayonetta 3, which is more than just a teaser. It actually gave us a look at some gameplay, and we have a release window, which is next year. Now, following on from there, obviously, they're still trying to keep some of the information close to their chest, but there have been some details shared from interviews that shed some light on some of the new mechanics, some of the new systems in game. So in this video, I thought I'd quickly talk about what we know currently about Bayonetta 3. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. If you guys are excited for this, let me know in the comments down below. I have been super looking forward to this one. I loved Bayonetta 1. That was a fantastic game. And of course, all that style, all that flair is coming back in number three. So obviously, first things first, if you cast your mind back, Bayonetta 1, of course, we experienced that back in 2010. We then, of course, got the sequel in 2014. And Bayonetta 3 was originally announced in 2017, so quite a while away. And of course, now, fast forward to today, or this week, in fact, then we got this new trailer. Now, just quickly to quote the official website, the sort of initial blurb for the game says that mysterious life forms appearing to be neither angel nor demon attack amid the ravaged street of the Shibuya area of Tokyo, where Bayonetta then makes a graceful appearance. Why is she in Tokyo and how far reaching is the invasion of this new enemy? They then go on to say that two of the new things you'll see in the gameplay are elements known as Demon Masquerade and also Demon Slave. Demon Masquerade is where Bayonetta fuses with an infernal demon to wield even more formidable magic power, and Demon Slave lets Bayonetta control infernal demons at will to obliterate enemies. And of course you see this in the trailer where basically you start controlling what is effectively a kaiju sized demon and you basically start having these giant kaiju battles. Let's be honest, that's effectively what it is. It's Bayonetta Godzilla edition and I'm here for it. That was super cool. And they then said, of course, the eyes of the world are on the mysterious Bayonetta 3 coming in 2022. Now, of course, these messages came from the executive director Hideki Kamiya and also the new director Yusuke Miyata. Now, on that note, Hideki Kamiya was, of course, the one that directed the original ones. He did say that with Bayonetta 3, he is still overseeing the world and the story, but in order to breathe some new life into the game, he's chosen Yusuke Miyata, a long-time and trusted co-worker, although he also said apparently he can be a bit of a goofball, as the director. And Miyata himself assured fans that he had experience developing a number of character games and that he has consumed all the media related to Bayonetta in preparation for his new role. He said that no matter how great your expectations may be, I promise we'll deliver an experience that exceeds all of them. Kamiya also then wanted to say that no matter how great your expectations may be, he promises that they'll deliver an experience that exceeds all of them. Now, of course, when Bayonetta makes her stylish return, she also has a new look. Every single game, she's had a distinctly different look, and she looks really cool in this one. Loving the purple guns this time around, with the sort of triple barrel on them, which looks fantastic, and uh, that look, the outfit definitely suits the new style of the game. But honestly, I can't wait to check out these new mechanics, because if the trailer's anything to go by, and of course, if you can use the sort of enslaved mechanic and the sort of uh, masquerade to basically taken the form of different demons, I would be willing to bet there will be various different forms in the game, which means we could be lining ourselves up for some giant, demonic, city-sized, kaiju-sized battles in this game, which is going to be incredible. But as it currently stands, that's pretty much all we have to go on for the time being. Just a quick sort of summary, because while this trailer was cool, while it did sort of show us some new stuff, they didn't necessarily go into greater detail following that, because of course they want to keep some stuff close to their chest, they want to keep some surprises, and they'll of course reveal stuff as we get closer. Because again, right now, 2022 is our release window, but we don't have an exact date. So I imagine once we do get closer to that, once we sort of get into next year, we'll start seeing more, hearing more, and as and when we do find out more, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. But for the time being, that's what we got. Next year, mark it on your calendars, a couple of new mechanics, the ability to control demons, the ability to fuse with them, and basically have giant battles. So I'm here for it, I'm excited, and that's what we've got. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, let me know what you guys hope to see in Bayonetta 3, and keep it locked for plenty more. If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.